Hi, I'm Nick Shields, Director of Communications and Public Affairs for Cook County. At a recent press conference, I was reminded of a traditional greeting by an African tribe. While you or I may greet each other by saying a simple hi or hello, they do something a little bit different. The greeting has resonated with me since we began working on Project Rainbow, the Cook County initiative that brings me here today, which I'll share more with you on in just a moment. But the greeting, it too is a simple greeting. There are only five words, but they are five powerful words. The greeting goes like this. And how are the children? And how are the children? The reply back is typically the same. All the children are well. Nelson Mandela once said, the true character of society is revealed in how it treats its children. By that barometer, how satisfied are we with the character of our society today? Let me tell you a story. I'm a runner, or at least pretend to be one, and on Halloween of 2020, I decided to go for a quick jog. By this time, we were months into the pandemic and in a state of perpetual uncertainty. To clear my mind, I really needed this run. I threw on my shoes and dashed out the door but on this particular day, I had the toughest time getting through one mile. One mile. By the time I stopped, I was roughly two and a half minutes slower than my normal pace. Now even pretend runners like myself know to miss your time by two plus minutes means there's something going on. Other than exhaustion from a one mile run, I had no other COVID symptoms at the moment. But to be on the safe side, I went to go get tested. To my surprise, my results were in fact positive. This right here is a picture of my son. During two weeks of my quarantine and brain fog that lasted much longer than that, my family and I had a lot of these moments. Glued to our phones while sitting on our bed, the brightness of the screen illuminating the room, playing whatever videos our apps drummed up in that moment. It was in these moments, in particular, where I was most concerned about learning loss, not just for my son, but for the children throughout Cook County. And while the county doesn't oversee an educational system, I couldn't stop wondering what the county could do from a communications and good government perspective to have a lasting educational impact on our youth and families. The Center for Education Policy Research at Harvard University recently released an analysis of pandemic learning loss. They studied data from over 2 million students from across 10,000 elementary and middle schools. One of their key findings, school districts that were remote for more than half of 2021, students in high poverty schools in those districts lost the equivalent of 22 weeks of instruction. Do the math, that's more than half a year of educational loss. Again, are all the children well? In this moment, as historic inequities continue to be exasperated by the pandemic, for the future of our children and our county, which go hand in hand, it's more important than ever for us to do all we can to be able to answer that question in each of our communities the exact same way. We must be relentless in our pursuit of the ability to honestly say all the children are in fact well. But for that to be the case, we must look at long-term recovery efforts, no idea too small or none too big. And we must also look at ways to tackle the digital divide while providing free educational opportunities to as many communities as possible. Early childhood and the first years of elementary school are pivotal times in our children's development. Gains made during this period have significant long-term impacts. Specifically, studies show that early childhood education programs are associated with improved cognitive and emotional development, self-regulation, and high academic achievement. I'm standing here today because Cook County is looking to do its part 
to address the educational barriers and learning loss exasperated by the pandemic through our initiative called Project Rainbow. It's been designed to inform, inspire, and impact our county's children and families. It's a portal that harnesses our world-class institutions and award-winning teachers to spark the imagination and to learn fundamentals in early childhood education. Here's how we're going about doing it. With the wonderful help of the University of Chicago's student-led tech team and additional educational support from Microsoft, the Erickson Institute, and Golden Apple, we have created a free educational app available on Apple and Android devices, which we believe is among the first, if not the first, streaming service created by a local unit of government. The content is accessible on phones and tablets, as well as TV and YouTube. We have more than 25 world-class Project Rainbow partners who have provided new and existing video content to be streamed on the app. A wide range of educational videos are offered on the new platform, including original stories from the Chicago Botanic Garden, forest preserves of Cook County, healthcare and wellness topics from Tiny Docs, featured exhibits from Shedd Aquarium, and so much more. We now have more than 130 videos and nearly 24 hours of content with more being added throughout the year. Additionally, we've established a $1 million scholarship fund in partnership with Cook County Health to support students who are from and committed to caring for underserved communities. We've provided more than 250 free or low-cost computers to children in suburban Cook County. All this in less than a year, and we're just getting started. We call this initiative Project Rainbow for three reasons. First, it's absolutely a nod to the wonderful and inspiring educational program of the 80s and 90s, Reading Rainbow. Second. It goes without saying COVID has been quite the storm, a storm we're undoubtedly still in, but at the end of every crazy storm is what? A rainbow. And finally, rainbows make people smile. And it's my sincere hope that the content we're producing and the additional initiatives we're establishing will do exactly that for our children and families alike. Inform, inspire, and impact while putting a smile on countless Cook County faces. Cook County will do its part through Project Rainbow to help uplift our county's children and families so every child and family, despite their neighborhood or zip code, has equitable educational access. So, when we ask ourselves or others ask us, and how are the children, we can confidently smile and say, all the children are well. All the children are well. Thank you.